right guys it is a flat out miserable day in the steaming stinking hellhole of Cedar Creek Texas here on Monday morning June 30th 2014 we are halfway through 2014 and I'm gonna take a break and packing to get out of this hellhole hopefully to the cool moist Pacific Northwest but before I do I need to do something that I have not done since I believe Thursday and that is to check in with the news headlines to see how this planet is descending deeper and deeper into the end times uh, here halfway through the year 2014 good god almighty guys I'm not even gonna bother with the alternative media because I could spend three hours just going over the mainstream media Yahoo News headlines now this picture is not from Texas this is from I believe Iraq uh, what is going on over there <clears throat> in Iraq today? An, an Iraqi Kurd helps block a road during a demonstration against the fuel crisis in Iraq. What is Iraq? One of the biggest oil producers on this planet having a fuel crisis. And uh, in one city, in the city of Erbil, Iraq, Lines stretched for miles, for miles, at gas stations, uh, causing demonstrations. There you go. If you want to know what is going to cause demonstrations in the end times, it is gas prices. And you better believe this picture from Iraq is going to start looking like the rest of the planet. But guys, I just got to I gotta move along through the uh, mainstream media headlines. And here we go. Anyone who says the mainstream media doesn't talk about the end times. Here is uh, a direct quote from the mainstream media. <clears throat> so, the rapture happened. What now? There are no zombies in the leftovers. No hollowed out metropolises. No charismatic anti-heroes. Just millions of people, I would say billions of people, all dealing with their own individual end times there you go mains the end times make the mainstream media as millions of people are dealing with their own individual end times and that was buried about halfway down the hundred top stories on the planet Okay, but I just got to dive into this, and I guess I'll just, when I get to 30 minutes, uh, I can go right down, the, right down the list here. Here is, let's go over there to Sub-Saharan Africa. Liberia vows prosecution for hiding Ebola patients. There you go. I guess the price of oil is down today. That's good. Here is, what is NASA up to? They are launching their new global warming satellite five years after their last global warming satellite plunged into the ocean at liftoff. There you go. Took five years to get another one in the air. Let's see if they can actually get this one in the air. Alright, over there in Arizona, Arizona fire crews fighting fire with fire from Arizona to Bosnia. Bosnia, Bosnia marks end of Europe's violent century. 
the end of Europe's violent century mias. Europe has not seen the beginning of its violent century. From there to the police state, why employees still might be drug tested for pot even in states where pot is legal. Okay, from the police state, let's go over there to Indonesia. New study shows Indonesia's disastrous deforestation. Satellite images have found that Indonesia's ancient forest, a cradle of biodiversity and a buffer against climate change, have shrunk and then it uh, disappears into the rest of the story. Uh, anyway, I, I talk about this a lot. This is a story about palm oil. Um, I talk about this every Friday. Okay, from Indonesia to China, connecting dots to Africa. <clears throat> China's Blood Ivory Bazaar. Okay. Beijing's claims to oppose the illicit trade in the tusk of elephants butchered by poachers. In fact, it, is, it has created a booming market. This is, uh, yes, thank you, mainstream media, for bringing this to our attention. Okay, what's going on here right in the good old state of Texas where I am trying to get out of? Obama to seek border aid. President Barack Obama will seek more than two billion dollars. Two billion dollars of American taxpayers' money to respond to the flood of immigrants illegally entering through the U.S. through Texas. There you go. That is your tax dollars at work in the end times. From Texas down to Guatemala, where these people are fleeing from, any of you who are uh, familiar with Lake Atitlan, uh, this absolutely gorgeous lake in Guatemala. Okay, from the Christian Science Monitor, asking the question, can Guatemala revive Lake Atitlan before it is choked by trash? The answer to that question is no, it cannot until global industrial civilization crashes and burns. That is the one, the only way that Lake Atitlan will keep from becoming even more choked by trash than it already is. Okay, from Guatemala to uh, South America. Let's go down to look at invasive species. We're going to go down to, to Colombia. Uh, and, and there's actually a, I, I've seen a very entertaining documentary on this story from last year. Uh, mainstream media. Thanks, Pablo Escobar. Colombia's hippos are running wild, and locals just might have to start eating them. Well, there you go. A drug pens hippos running wild through the Colombian Amazon wreaking havoc, but uh, there will be more hippos to eat in the end times. Okay, from Colombia back over there to Nigeria. This one got Reuters News getting right to the point. Nigeria in 
darkest phase of history. You gotta love this guy's this President Good Luck Jonathan. President Good Luck Jonathan said on Friday that Nigeria has entered one of the darkest phases of its history. Good luck, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, what's going on over there with Chinese-Iraqi relations? Over 1,200 Chinese workers relocated in Iraq. More than 1,200 Chinese workers have been relocated from conflict-torn northern Iraq to Baghdad. I bet they have. Let's see. We're looking at a magnitude 5.2 earthquake at the New Mexico-Arizona border. Not sure if that uh, has anything to do with fracking or not. From there to Pelicans in North Dakota. Pelicans northerly nesting grounds shrinking. So instead of a drought, we have a flood, I guess, taking out the pelicans. Uh, I guess for once has nothing to do with fracking. This is, I guess, climate change. Rising lake levels are swallowing American white pelicans nesting grounds at a guano rich island in central North Dakota known as North America's largest refugee for the big billed birds. There you go. Pelicans getting drowned out in North Dakota today. And from pelicans in North Dakota to penguins in Antarctica. <clears throat> Emperor penguins waddling to extinction. Global warming will send Antarctica's emperor penguins into decline by 2100, scientists projected on Sunday. Yep, from North Dakota, pelicans in North Dakota to penguins in Antarctica. Kiss it all goodbye. And uh, now this next one, we talked about Ebola over there in Liberia. Here is LiveScience.com asking the question, could Ebola spread to the United States? The current outbreak of Ebola in West Africa is now the largest in history. But how likely is it to spread to the United States? And then I guess they break down. So anyway, guys, it is theoretically possible, but... I think that Ebola virus, even this old doomsday prophet, is cheering on the Ebola virus in sub-Saharan Africa. As Mother Nature brings out her broom, I think that Mother Nature will figure out some other broom here in the good old U.S. of A., which will have something to do with fracking or the police state. Anyway, let's see. Let's go back to Sub-Saharan Africa and see how China is doing in there. China to reopen embassy in Somalia closed in 1991. China said Monday it will reopen its embassy in Somalia 23 years after closing it when the East African nation plunged into civil war. Uh, now, anyway, guys, I, I don't have time to go into that. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, cars seen 
cementing U.S. rebound. Yeah, there you go. The gas-sucking car is going to save the U.S. economy. Uh-huh. Okay, from there, hallelujah, conservationists rally outside Yellowstone to protest wolf hunting. So this is about 150 of these tree huggers. I would have loved to have been on this yesterday. They had all of these tree huggers going up against these goddamn redneck ranchers and hunters in there in Gardner, uh, Montana at the gates of Yellowstone National Park in an anti-wolf hunting protest. You go, tree huggers. Okay. Let's see. Another story on Obama's $2 billion border crackdown. There, there, and another, there, there, I don't know how many stories on this one, on the uh, Mexico-Texas border. Let's see, back to Nigeria as President Goodluck Johnson saying his country entering its darkest phase in history. We have this story from Reuters News, Nigerian... Islamist attack villages and churches dozens killed. There you go. There is Mother Nature bringing out her broom. We have a few dozen more dead Nigerians. Yep, yep, yep. I, I absolutely uh, lo lo love this story. There's several versions of this one. This is just uh, th th this is just one of them. Uh, this is the Christian Science Monitor spin on this story. Israeli police forcibly end <clears throat> African migrant protest. Israeli police today forcibly broke up a three-day desert sit-in by hundreds of African migrants who bolted a detention center to march toward the Egyptian border. Uh, th th there you go. The, the sick humor in this story about these, uh, these sub-Saharan Africans uh, facing their own individual end times, fleeing to Israel and uh, and complaining about uh, their standard of living in Israel. In, in anyone who does not, uh, I, I, anyway, guys, uh, I could. I better move on. Okay, I am uh, 19 minutes into this and barely, barely scratching the surface of the mainstream media headlines this Monday morning in the end times. Okay, over there in India, two buildings collapse in India. D, 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 D. All right, here's a very important story in the mainstream media. Nanny from hell could leave California home. And there you go. Let's go up there to the state of Washington where I'm trying to get to out of Seattle. Bumpy road ahead for legal pot in Washington. This is a, an interesting story about, okay, Marijuana is now legalized in the state of Washington as the state of Colorado has hundreds of pot shops open for business. Uh, Washington State, uh, I, think, I think it says that maybe in the entire state of Washington that two people have managed to open 
their business is and just it, it is a joke what is going on uh, smoothly in Colorado uh, these bureaucrats in the state of Washington completely bungling uh, <clears throat> this operation now let's see can we have another story about illegal immigrants US Border Patrol has many agents in wrong places. There you go. What is Iran up to? All right, good for Iran. Iran resumes auto exports to Russia. Good for Iran. More gas, Iranian gas sucking cars being shipped off to Russia. Okay. Here you go. Liberals don't hate authority after all. Mm hmm. Yep, here's, here's another one, another version. This is the French News Services. Absolutely, their take on this hilarious story. Hundreds of African immigrants in Israel on mass hunger strike. Oh, this is an update from that last story. Hundreds of illegal African immigrants began a hunger strike on Monday, after Israeli police forcibly broke up a sit-in they were staging. Okay, so we got these hundreds of illegal African immigrants on a hunger strike. Uh, good for them. Uh, I wish them a lot of luck on their hunger strike. That'll take care of a few hundred more sub-Saharan Africans who should never have been born. Mother Nature bringing out her broom. Here's another story, a peace story uh, on the same story. Let's see. I, I, I've had plenty of photos from Aleppo, Syria which looks like Dresden in World War II, and we have this one. Syria's tour tourism minister focuses on promoting Aleppo. Uh, it, 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 anyway, uh, it, it, any tourist heading to Aleppo, Syria, deserves uh, what they're going to get when they get there. Uh, yeah, Aleppo, Syria. That's where to go on your summer vacation. Here is the Christian Science Monaster asking the question, why are white working class children in Britain falling behind? Hmm, you'll have to go to the Christian Science Monitor to get the answer to that question. Okay. Uh, here's one. How to save money on your phone plan. Uh, I, I found the best way to save money on your phone plan is to throw your phone and your plan in the trash. Uh, you might want to go over to Skype. My annual phone bill on Skype is $32 per year. For $32 per year, I can make phone calls with video, no less, 24 hours a day anywhere on planet Earth I can talk 24 hours a day, 365 days a year with video. If I want to, it will cost me $32 a year. Why anybody else has any other phone plan, they have nobody but themselves to blame. 
from that story, what is Honda Motor Company up to today? Honda's first jet takes to the skies. Good Lord. Gee, Catholic bishop accused of abusing boy. Where have we seen that one? Uh, that got happened. What is going on down there at the World Cup in uh, Rio de Janeiro? Fans lose things and get robbed amid World Cup exuberance. There you go. Alright, something about viruses in Egypt. You gotta love this one, guys. Vendor shoots woman at Pennsylvania gun show. Uh-huh. Uh, no comment. What is Bill Clinton up to today? Bill Clinton, states should experiment with marijuana legalization. You go, Mr. I didn't inhale. Bill Clinton pushing for marijuana legalization. From there to North Korea, North Korea fires two missiles days after North Korea's little maggot Kim Jong-un declared a fatwa against actors Seth Rogen and James Franco. No idea what that means. I would probably agree with the guy on that one. It is time to rub that little maggot off the face of the planet by any way possible. Let's see. Here's more stories on Harley Davidson saving the planet with its electric motorcycles. I mentioned that one. What have I got? Two and a half minutes. Let me just jump ahead, see if there's anything I have got to get to before getting back to packing for my trip. Okay. Here is Dutch Islamist radicals becoming an elusive swarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here is security alert in the Philippines over latest terror threats. Here is firefighters prepare for the 4th of July. I bet they did. Here is the mainstream media asking the question, who made the bigger mistake in Iraq? Bush or Obama? I would call that one a toss-up. I think uh, W and Farak can, uh, they can each take about equal credit for that one. Okay. Here are adult women are the new face of ADHD. Let's see two more of these. Uh, let's go over there to Palestine. Palestinian militants fire 14 rockets at Israel. There you go. We will see what Israel has to say about that. And let's wrap up. I, I still got a long way to go down this Monday morning calling, column of headlines. But let's just end it up here with NASA Two stories right together. Uh, the French news service, NASA's flying saucer tests new technology. And right next to it from ABC News, NASA tests flying 
saucer. Guys, I could go on with this, uh, but I have hit 30 minutes and I need to get back to packing for my own individual end times as I get my ass out of Texas to Washington State for this rant. Bye, guys.